The theme of 2019 coming into 2020 isn't going to be about talking the usual smack about the community, nor pro wax, nor scraggle aggles, although we will touch on them today. However, what my theme might be, if I keep hearing this, will be to do an eight hour hangout stream. Yes, an, an eight hour hangout stream about guys who do eight hour hangout streams. Especially when it comes to the women who they claim are constantly talking about them, roasting them, telling them to put your wing wing in the community and don't put it with Becky or Maylin or Marisol, whoever. Look, I'm at the point right now, seriously, I'm at the point right now where I am getting triggered off of hearing so-called thinking men talking and whining about their adversaries. This is not how you fight wars. This is not how you push your agendas. This is not how you get the attention, much less the respect, of your adversaries. Did the Allies during World War II hung out in basement rooms where they had transmitters for the radios and talk trash for eight hours at a time about the Axis? Did MLK or Malcolm X sit around in front of a TV screen and then the civil rights groups, all the civil rights big heads or the pro-black, true pro-black big heads, do they sit around in panels, talk trash about those who are upholding Jim Crow and real white supremacy for eight hours on end? Do the politicians of Israel and Palestine or Jewish Muslim people, do they go on hangouts on the internet for eight hours at a time talking trash about each other. Exactly my point. So what makes you think that going on for eight hours at a freaking time, I'm just using eight hours as hyperbole. Sometimes it does literally get that long, but in many cases, and these guys do have jobs if nothing else. But these individuals with their hour plus long hangouts, think as if they calling out this deplorable behavior, and I'm on the side of these guys. This is Sanato's clutch on the side of these thinking black men. But today, I'm gonna have to roast you above the belt. And if you don't know what roasting above the belt means, it basically means harsh constructive criticism, or just constructive criticism. But do all of you thinking black men out there who are making these hangout streams, do you really think it's gonna really change the hearts and the minds and the actions of your adversaries? I have told you all multiple times on how you can effectively get the attention, even if it's for them to shut up and not talk about you. Now at this point, you know what this channel is about. I am beyond trying to plead and negotiate with the Scraggle Daggle. I am beyond trying to even roast the Scraggle Daggle or criticize the Scraggle Daggle, much less get her to respect me, respect my authority. And look, we have seen time and time again that the Scraggle Daggle does not respect and will not respect the authority of thinking black men, or in some cases, black men in general. I'm sorry, you have plenty of evidence. David Carroll just did, well, he does this all the time, but lately, he has been focusing on how femininity is reserved for palm color guys, at least when it comes to Scraggle Daggle. And the only time that she might submit to a certain kind of black man is in that arena called the bedroom. And we all know what kind of black men she will submit herself to in that way. And even then, it's only temporary until his use has outlived him or when he decides to stand up for himself and no longer be a baby kid. But yeah, as far as this is concerned, you all are falling into what I like to call the scraggle daggle trap. It's a trap! Just like Admiral Akbar said, it's a trap! You all are giving these scraggle daggles exactly what they want, which is time and attention siphoned from the precious time and attention that we have and focus it to them. You all are basically free advertisement 
for the adversary. And the fact that you all are basically borderline crying and complaining about this is even sadder. I heard one guy saying that, why are you taking these daggles seriously? And then another dude responded with, well, we aren't. This is comedy to us. Do you not find this entertaining? To which I will respond with, no, it's not entertaining, man. It comes off as a bunch of guys focusing on the Tatianas, shout out to Steve Bogey, I think he's running for that term, and all of these daggles who basically have given thinking black men the stiff arm ever since they realized that they could get anything they want by being a girl. They have told black men how they feel about you, about us, and yet you expect me to join the ranks of other individuals and spend hours on end just wallowing? Especially if you claim that the woman that you're getting with is not ADO, it's not FBA, right, 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 right. Oh, thank you, Windows. I really needed that. As far as this is concerned, these individuals who will focus hours, days, weeks, months on end, years on end in some cases, these don't indicate the actions of someone with options. Options outside the community. These indicate the actions of individuals who feel as if, or dare I say, who actually don't have anywhere to go, have anywhere else to go, have any other choices, or at the very least don't aspire to have any other choices, or in some cases are just that addicted to their women. They want that Tatiana dream for them. They want that hot night in the sack with Tatiana. That's what they want. They want to live that Dottiana BT late night music video. They want that. And they don't even want it. I'm talking about those who are that addicted. They don't even want it with the Beckys. They don't want that late night CNT video with Becky Sue and the Country Shed and, and the, you know and the pickup truck and two of you just riding off to nowhere at 2 a.m. And two of you find somewhere in the cut in the neck of the woods and then you're just down there on a Saturday night doing your thing getting that Saturday night special only to be out audible out audible if that is that if that's even the word only to be out voiced by all the crickets and the insects and all the other creatures chirping and they're probably doing the same thing too you don't want that k-pop fantasy of Going up to Gungam District and finding that posh condominium with some fine Sue Young who just made you some bitchin' kimchi with a side of Korean barbecue. Yeah, that, that's the side, people. I don't know why I put that as the side. Maybe I should have swapped it, but whatever. And for the cert, a happy ending. A happy ending that basically burns off all of that Korean barbecue and kimchi and whatever else she fed you. You don't, you don't want that, no. You don't want that south of the border treat where you find yourself in an unsuspecting villa, but you have Selenia there who is ready to please you however she can, whether it's home-cooked meals that she learned from her abuela, or whether it's just the femininity that comes with that culture. Oh, you don't want that, no, no. Hell, you don't even want the femininity from Lupita or fill in the name of whatever African Caribbean or African Latina name. Oh, I can't come up with any right now. You want that Tatiana fantasy where she fixes you the collard greens. You all want her to fix you a plate. P-L-A-T-T -T, like Ron Will says. Or in some cases, you all just want her to give you some Wayne's Rising Mama Sauce. There you go. Some of you would be happy with just that at this point. With that good ass... Bomb ass hood action. That's what you want, right? But by the siren clamoring in that fantasy, you all fall into the trap of these daggles who basically plot on you as if this is a Saturday morning cartoon show and you fall for it every time. I'll tell you what they say. Sisters, scraggle daggles, we are losing the war. We are losing the war against 
thinking black men. You, you, we see them dating out. We see them touting SYSBM. Hell, we even see the order click. You know, BGS and Angry Man and all these other guys who were cooking SYSBM just a year ago now, touting the words. And watch, they're going to try to claim it as if they came up with it. But we know the secret. Just like Bush. Bush's baked bean secret. We know the secret. We know who really came with SYSBM. But in any case, these thinking men are winning the war. They're winning. But we cannot allow that to happen. The more they focus on working with each other, the more they focus on unifying, building, building. Like that damn Jason Wack guy talking about them building. But sisters, we need a plan. We need a plan. I've ran out of plans. Come on, come on. What was that? Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Sharkisha? Huh? What was that? We need to send scraggle daggles on panels in order to get thinking black men riled up. Uh huh. And off kilter. Off kilter. We have been watching AMS. Yeah, we tried that and that shit failed. Thank you, synthetic. Thank you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> For exposing our plans. But we tried that. We seriously tried that. And you saw how well that worked. The more ratchet the daggle was. The more those thinking men unified. They unified to the point in which we now have the freaking order guys. And the manosphere guys. They're at peace. They're at peace. And that is the last thing we wanted was for them to be at peace. They are fighting and roasting each other. That, that's already ruining our plans as is. How can we be the number one to Mr. Sadie if we can't even get these baby's kids and mediocre Negroes to fight and roast each other? I'm not having my lid be... White Saddies, number one again, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of her natural hair that I'm wearing and attitude that I can only dream to have be on Mei Lin. I'm tired of her thin ass. Oh, what was that? What was that, Bonkeisha? Send Daggles, who act feminine to these panels with their cleavage out. Just like... The bitches on Twitch do, that actually doesn't sound too half bad. You know what? It, it, it actually sounds so good that I, I can't even think you came up with it, Bonkeisha. No, no offense, no offense. It, that was probably your imaginary white saddy boyfriend who doesn't exist. I get it. We, we all have them join the club, but a good idea nonetheless. But in order to make it work on the community, let me add something in. We have to make these attention dots, not Tatiana's, but dots. We have to make them pro whack. That's it. Make them pro whack. And make them as if they actually care about the men and the community and the children and everything that these so called thinking men care about. And then sell them the dream that one day. If they all just work together, that we will, for some reason, decide to submit to them and give them the Tatiana dream. <laughs> As if we're going to sleep with them. <laughs> oh, man. They want us to be the sand, and they want our communities to be as peaceful as the suburbs. <laughs> These non-select men especially, they think they're gonna really get that. <laughs> they want a white picket fence and an all-black neighbor. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get these guys tonight, yeah. I'm gonna have to do the AMS rub. Yes, yes. Good job, ladies. All right, all right, all right. Let's take the shots. What are we gonna dedicate the shot to? April Mason? All right, cheers. Stop falling for the scraggle daggle trapple. It's a trap. And everyone else out there always bet on X.